Hello everyone and welcome back to my course. So today I want to teach you a pretty easy concept actually. It's pretty easy to perform in tier 84. This is how to do logarithm. So um, if you are a year 10 student, I think year 9 student haven't learned about it yet. But if you're a year 10 student, I think you have learned about logarithm, which is involving exponents, calculating the power, calculating the base, so on and so forth. So to calculate logarithm in tier 84, you have to go to mass. After you go to mass, you just scroll down, scroll down, and you can see there's log. Sorry, I think I went over that, but there's log here in A, so you just enter and you have log here. So we just have to enter your data here. Sorry, I have some previous calculation here, so pretty sorry about that. I'll just go again. So it's A actually. Wait, it's A, I think. Yeah. So you scroll down to A, you find log reason, and here we have your base. So for instance, many year 10 students start with log base 10, which is a log that is um, the default log base in your scientific calculator because in scientific calculators they are not able to switch uh, the base so you have to use log 10 and change your base manually when you uh, have a paper but a, sand, a graphing calculator makes your life much more easier but I don't think it's allowed in year 10 exam I think it starts in year 11 which in international baccalaureate it starts in grade 11 as your HLMS so after I log 10 I have a number for instance I have a 10 I have a hundred for instance and my number is 2 how do I indicate this? How do I understand the meaning? So two is basically the power for ten for my base here. Ten to the base of ten to the power of two, which is ten squared, is a hundred. So if this number is, is a thousand here, is the number is thousand, the number is actually three because the base, which is ten to the power of three, which is the ten cube, gives me a thousand. So this is the basic of logarithm. Hope this video helps.